Good morning and welcome back to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10 2. I'm David Lovejoy. Hi, everybody. I'm Rhonda Lonert. And I'm Chuckalicious Chuck Williams. And visiting us from Amarillo Visitors and Convention Bureau, Ms. Hope Stokes. And she's uh, kind enough to join us on the road this morning, take care of some business for the city. Ms. Hope, how are you doing today? I am fantastic. You know the drill. If I'm here, I'm doing great. So Thank thanks you. for having me as always. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Well, Ms. Hope, um, you know, we we have big events coming up. Um, Route 66. We're all excited. We know you guys are beyond excited. Tell us what's up and coming next for, you know, all of the festivities and planning um, as we get ready for this event. Yeah, absolutely. So um, the Texas Route 66 Festival, last year we had our inaugural year. So we're excited to have it again this year and keep building it this year. Um, the festival will be June 6th through 15th. So go ahead and mark your calendars. If you're not familiar with the festival, what it is is it's a culmination of different events across the Panhandle, Texas, 60, Texas 66 during the 10 days. Um, so there's quite a lengthy calendar. We have it online now on visitamarillo.com. I think what most people in Amarillo are the most excited about is the uh, festival finale. That is the event that is on the 15th where we shut down a mile of the historic district. Um, it's just a really great, fun day full of different things like vendors. There's live music, um, pinup pageants, corn dog eating contests, oh. lots of different activities happening along the entire route. Of course, car shows, all the things you would um, expect to see at a Texas Route 66 festival. So, uh, go you, again, you can go to our website and check out our calendar of events as it stands now. It'll continue to grow throughout the next couple of months, but. We're super excited. We even got um, top, I think we got number seven, oh, six or seven in top new festivals by USA Today. Oh, wow. From, yeah, so from last year's festival. So we're really excited. There were about around 12,000 people in the historic district on um, the finale event last year. So we're expecting more people and we're just going to make it bigger and better every year. <laughs> So we're actually, what we're doing is making this a mini Texas State Fair with all the exhibits and everything, but it's only just moved north a little bit. I Without the rides, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be food trucks and all that good stuff. Uh, really excited about it. We had an absolute blast last year. And again, we're just making improvements and working with all the businesses along the district to make that event a really big deal. And then, of course, it's not all just about Amarillo. It really is about the entire panhandle. We'll even be hosting bus tours that will take people east and west and show them all the cool quirky stops along the route. I don't know if you've never traveled Route 66. You really need to check it out. I had never done it until recently. And oh. I was like, this is a lot of fun. Like people yeah. should really be checking this out. So I'm happy that we're sharing this with everyone. Well, you've got some uh, fun ideas and some fun things to do. Valentine's Day, of course, is tomorrow. And uh, what are some things uh, people could look forward to doing? Yeah, absolutely. So today there's actually the Cowboy and Sweetheart Dinner and Dance at the Amarillo Arts in the Sunset. The Newlywed Game happening at Amtech Career Academy, and that's going to be hosted by Guy Bell. If you know who he is, so that'll be <laughs> a guaranteed good time. Uh, Wheel of Fortune happening tonight at the Civic Center. Tomorrow, uh, there is the Perfect Pair Mixology class at Paramount Recreation Club. There's a Valentine's Dinner at Pondicetta. There's also a Valentine's Dinner at Sabor. Um, if you want something unique to maybe give your significant other, I think a really fun idea would be a private glass blowing class at Blind Bird Designs. If you've never done that, that's a lot of fun. And I think that's something that isn't just, you get a tangible gift at the end, but you get to do something together. So I think that's a fun, unique gift. And then also um, like a couples massage at Awaken Med Spa, go do a Jeep tour in Paladero Canyon. Uh, we actually have an entire blog on Valentine's Day things to do. Um, it's more Galentine's, but I think those are things that you could do with your partner instead. So lots of fun things going on and lots of just cool gifts that you can give that are very Amarillo-esque. What was the name of the first place you named? The Paramount? 
Rec Paramount League. Recreation Club. That is the speakeasy in the bottom of the bar field. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, so I didn't know that. I didn't I know, didn't know that was called. the name. I didn't know that was the name of it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, a new, new place I can get kicked out of. So. <laughs> yeah, Paramount Recreation Club. <laughs> or P PRC is what oh. a lot of people call it for short because it's kind of a long name. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it's a, there's something to do uh, in our city uh, it, pretty much any time, 24-7. I know the Emerald Theater's got some great things going on. Uh, the Emerald Symphony, the Emerald Opera's got some great stuff coming up. But you guys stay so busy getting ready for the next turn. What are, what are some of the things that you're really looking forward to as we warm up here on the High Plains? Um, well... As I mentioned, the festival is probably one of the absolute biggest things that we're working on. That is a monster event. But we also have some new things coming on, um, not brand new, but newer to the community, like the West Texas Ranch Rodeo is coming out. That is a really cool rodeo that is tied into WRCA, but it's all youth. And there's some incredibly talented um, cowboys and cowgirls that will be featured in that. I think that's something to put on your radar. Um, there's... You caught me off guard with that, but an insane amount of things happening all the time. Yeah. Uh, really, in my purview, I'm working a ton on just the festival, and I had some Austrians in this past weekend hosting people constantly to show them Amarillo so that they can get the word out to the rest of the world. Um, our sales team is boots on the ground all the time. I would have to look at their calendar right mm -hmm. now just to get an idea because there's so much happening all the time i swear they're constantly out visiting people planning new conferences and events so lots of exciting things happening and yeah it's, it makes for a fun job and so it that's, that's mm -hmm. <laughs> you know you got a great product <laughs> yeah you know absolutely just from the idea of the conferences and pulling in internationals that that's a step in itself. I mean, hey, that's exposing Amarillo itself to the rest of the world, is it not, without anything else going on? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, really, for international people, they're coming in for a lot of leisure travel. Uh -huh. So, again, it's like that Route 66, the fact that we have the second largest canyon in the world that kind of helps out, or in the United States, to be clear on that. But the Paldero Canyon is something, it's a gym that, locals very much forget about and we take for granted at times so things like that and just we are what people internationally dream of when they think of texas right we are what they saw in the movies when they were growing up and dreaming about texas i think when they go to houston and austin they're a bit disappointed that's yeah. not what they expected to see we are what people internationally think of when they think of true grit in Texas. So, you know, growing up here, we kind of get used to that. But when I host people, they're like, oh, a tumbleweed. And I'm like, oh, yeah. a tumbleweed. They were like, here, make them. Following it yeah, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. Well, Hope, uh, be careful down there at that conference. Thank you for all the hard work you guys do down at the Convention and Visitors Bureau. And I uh, look forward to having you back again. We'll talk about some great stuff coming our way. Hey, always a pleasure. Thank you so much. All right, be careful. We'll take a quick break. We're back with more chat right here on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10 2.